Oh, welcome back. It's Jonathan Shankman, Chief Investment Officer and President of Park Bridge Wealth Management. I'm just helping myself to a shot of olive oil, extra virgin oil, or olive oil, which I'm sure they had at the time of the temple. Um, in honor of the last night of Hanukkah, it's the Shankman family custom to have a shot of olive oil, given the miracles of olive oil around this holiday. Um, so I'll have that shot. Mm. Oh, baby. Woo! I don't think that's going to be a custom going forward. Anyway, you're here for a practical planning tip, so I'm happy to uh, provide you with one. And here's an oldie but goodie. Today's year-end planning tip will cover tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting is the process of selling securities at a loss to offset capital gains tax liability. When reviewing investment portfolios, you should determine if there are opportunities to strategically generate losses to offset other gains. For example, using tax swap strategy for mutual fund holdings allows you to realize a tax loss while retaining essentially equivalent market exposure. The key is that the funds are not substantially identical. Ways around that are using different fund families that track different indices and may have a slightly different strategy, but that still has similar results. A common example is swapping out an S&P 500 fund at one company and buying a total U.S. market index fund at another fund family. One thing to be mindful of is minimizing short-term capital gains. The strategy may be used to limit the recognition of short-term capital gains, which are generally taxed at a higher federal income tax rate than long-term capital gains. One creative approach to tax loss harvesting is to donate cash proceeds from the sale of stocks that are at a loss. This is relevant every year, but particularly in 2023, when some areas of the stock, global stock market have, fallen, have fell in value. In this strategy, investors benefit from recognizing a loss by selling the stock that went down in value. The loss can be used to offset any capital gains for the year, or it can be used to offset up to $3,000 of your ordinary income. This is in addition to the charitable deduction you receive for your cash donation from the proceeds of the sale. And here's a planning tip to keep in mind that I always share with CPAs that I collaborate with, which is, remember, it's generally a poor decision to sell an investment, even one with a loss, solely for tax reasons. There must be an investment strategy behind the sale. As I say frequently to tax-conscious investors, don't let the tax tail wag the investment dog. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. And keep in mind that you can see all my work by following me on social media at Jonathan on Money by listening to my weekly podcast, also called Jonathan on Money, or by signing up for my monthly newsletter at parkbridgewealth.com forward slash newsletter. Until next time, stay prudent, practical, don't forget to plan ahead. And one last time, happy Hanukkah.